You guys are never going to guess what I just did. Never. I bought something. I bought a lot of something. I bet they, I you bet think they so? Could, I bet they could guess. Run a montage of things that they could be guessing. <laughs> Bruh. Here's the thing. If you guessed that I bought something, and I don't know how you knew that. How did you guess? You're a good guesser. I have no idea what I bought. I'll be very honest with you. Let me explain to you the backstory here real quick. I got an email the other day uh, from a truck driver. He said, hey, I'm a trucker. I have this load that's been stuck in my trailer for like months. The company won't pay me for it. It's been abandoned. Mm -hmm. It's now mine. I don't know what to do with it. I've got all this stuff in my truck. I can't take any of their loads until I get it unloaded. I got nowhere to put it. And he's got a family to feed and he's not being able to do any work with his, yeah. his equipment. This is all just over email, like very quick emails. So first my thought was like, well, it's a scam. And then as I start talking a little bit more, he gives me his phone number and stuff. I'm like, oh, maybe it's not a scam. And he was down in California and he's like, make me an offer and I'll just bring it up to you. And I was like, all right, six grand. Bring me the bring me the load including you know shipping and everything and everything in that trailer is mine our worst case scenario is we help a trucker out of a bind and get him back on the road because it's literally i think it's like, like four months that he hasn't been able to do anything which is crazy if you think about it it's crazy so buying lost or abandoned freight is not like it's not a new concept people there's companies like Erklands and olson's the pallet company down here a lot of their stuff comes from that so to have a trucker, you know, like an owner operator reach out and, and tell us that he wants to sell an individual load, it's a unique situation. So I'm intrigued. So the reason why we're out back is uh, he just let us know that he's here or almost here. Hands went out to find him to bring him in. And uh, for the element of surprise, you guys are going to be just as surprised as we are. And hands, nobody knows. Nobody on our team knows what we're dealing with here. He's going to pull up. We're going to back him up to the uh, shop here. We're going to figure out what we just bought. I have no idea. This is so unlike you. What if it's a bunch of produce? <laughs> Listen, what I'm worried is whoever did buy it originally didn't do anything to get it back. So I'm hoping either it's a, the lost treasure of Atlantis and not a bunch of uh, toilet paper rolls. Yeah. Well, toilet paper, kidding me? Toilet paper is like a hot commodity right back now. Back with COVID. I mean, now I, now know, I think man. I think toilet paper storm to come back. Weird times. <laughs> Regardless, $6,000. It's a gamble. We're at about a break even on buying stuff recently. We've made money in the past. Um, I think we will make money on, on the box truck that we bought. Uh, we're definitely gonna make our money back. And I have another deal that we're gonna go work on tomorrow that uh, I mentioned in my last video. Remember the cell phone you know, antenna tower? Well, pretty sure I won that bid and nice. uh, that's gonna be exciting too. So now we just wait and see. I got a good feeling. I think there's something good in here. Got a really good feeling. I like that. I appreciate your optimism. Dave, once again, purchased something. Don't really know what. All I know is I got a call from a guy. He says, hey, I'm here. And uh, I called Dave. He's like, oh yeah, I know what you're talking about. Have him pull out back. So here we are. Another one of Dave's purchases that don't make any sense at all. But those are my favorite kind of purchases because they get us in the best situations ever. What's up, my man? How are you? What I'm gonna have you do is, uh, I'm gonna have you pull through here, go through this gate, and then I'm gonna have you kind of back up to one of the doors. Oh man, it's just Alan on a forklift. Is he coming? So this is the freak did you buy. <laughs> I mean, I understand like a box truck, but a semi-reefer? Three foot trailer, right? <laughs> Yeah. Oh man, it just keeps coming. So this could just be random freight from some random warehouse. Uh, he did explain to me the situation and he did get screwed. Like the guy or the, the shipper really screwed him over on this deal. He's owed a ton of money. And so worst case scenario, this guy ends up in a little bit better situation than he was before. And more importantly, he can start moving freight again because he's had his trailer locked up. Anticipation is killing me though. Guess, what did you buy your now? Your guess is as good as mine. Look I can genuinely tell you that I have no idea what's in that trailer. And I can genuinari tell you I have no idea what's in that what trailer What if it's a either. Ferrari? What if it's just a bunch of high-end cars? Uh, I'll always uh, take any high-end cars you got in there. One item in that trailer, I'll buy your lunch today. One item? A piece of wood. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> a table. A table? Okay. How about you, Dave? You guess any item in that truck and I'll buy your lunch. Any item? Any item. You have to promise me you don't actually know. 
a box. You guys are cheating. <laughs> he's the uh, truck driver who reached out to me. He's the guy. Oh, he's already opening it. He's just getting right into it. Oh, man. <laughs> I, like, I like the way you move. Oh! Hey, I would have won on the wood. Get a McDonald's order for him. Do we have to wait? I, I, I don't know. I, I think we'll just go for it. I'm just going to yeah. get, get in there. Fortress lab stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Special motors in here. I think you got your load sold already. Let's narrow those forks up again. If you had to purchase this, we're talking a lot of money. And there's some really nice stuff in here. Uh, it's a conveyor belt system. So I'm looking to see if there's a switch. There might be actually switching areas to switch whether something's following the uh, conveyor belt and then going at a 90 degree to go off. But there's still a whole bunch of stuff in the back we haven't seen. And all this stuff can be used to make various height tables for all sorts of things. There's new stuff in there, it's not junk, that's for sure. I only saw the first 10 feet. It looks like some sort of conveyor belt. It almost looks like screen printing stuff. So what we're gonna do is just unload it one piece at a time and put it here in the shop and show you guys what we got. This is wild. Poor guy hasn't been able to work for four months. That's a big deal. How you feeling? Good. It's, good? it's all newish stuff, which is cool. If this is a t-shirt screen printer, then that's what we need. No, that's like First item of business is... I don't know. What can I Google? Do you have any numbers I can Google? I... It says Amazon on it. This might be part of like Amazon shipping Like a department. fulfillment? Yeah, like a belt? fulfillment conveyor belt. Well, what are these? Are these don't... Belt, pulleys, motors. No. Is this just a, a cover then? Uh, maybe. Hello uh, block bearings, brand new. Alan's excited. Alan's oh, all those pieces Long could be all used to make bearings. all sorts of neat things. Plus, these are adjustable legs with adjustable things. You can make various tables to mount whatever you want. There's some nice stuff here. Adjustable legs so you can set them up at various heights. everything here because I don't see any of the main uh, computer controllers. I have way more faith in those boxes back there. These, there's value in them somewhere, right? The right person? But those look like a much easier item to sell. All like single boxes. Just gotta obey Dave's rules. Can't go back there yet. Big skinny out. That's exciting. Oh, slid off. Shazam! See that 
I peaked. I, I am. I, I peaked. Let me show you something. Your favorite games with the twist. Picture a dice. We may have just stumbled upon six pallets of Yahtzee or something. I'm gonna Google that address and see if that address is like a game store or something. I like to see some microcontrollers, digital I/O ports. Yeah, digital I/O ports would be awesome. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. We're trying to squeeze by I'm side. excited. There's like good stuff for designing and building things. These pallet rackings are sort of <laughs> universal. This is the weirdest trailer to have found and stumbled upon. I'm going to let you guys guess where you think where you think those boxes were headed to. I know where they were headed to. I know the destination. Blair's. Eaton? No. Eaton Court? No. Uh, Amazon? I'm here, no. I'm here to tell you guys, you guys are way off. No, South, Park South Park Stick destination. What's South Park Stick? It's like the TV show South Park, or? No. Oh, yeah, got it. Back up with me. It's like a, like a, like a, like a, like a track or some sort. I want to say it's like maybe like a camera too, because it's like that lens. Or maybe it's like a scanner. USA Opoly. Like Monopoly, but USAopoly, and that says your favorite games with a twist. These look like games. Although I've never heard of USAopoly, which is maybe why this logo was abandoned. I don't think that game did that well. One star, horrible place to work. Oh no. Next thing, one star, super unprofessional. This is where the load's going. Worst place to work ever. Supervisor, blank. <laughs> doesn't know how to speak to employees and wants to argue about nothing at all but all the time. The lady who owns the building, she wears glasses and always mean mugging employees. You look up this Next thing, the weight is horrible. We try to stay away from this facility if possible. Did you look up McDonald's? What are you looking up? Translated by Google. Very bad service. Five hours to wait to get to the gate. That's a, that, that might have been from our driver. One star, one star, one star, one star, one star. Seriously, is it a? Fre it's probably that's probably the freight terminal, right? It's it's, it's like a distribution center. Oh, yeah, that's that's the problem. That's probably the one that went out of business. Rest in peace. What's Alan doing? He's he's not sure. I'm not sure. <laughs> I just might have Christmas presents for the next ten years, and you guys are getting distribution equipment. All that's left back there. There's a picture of dice on it. On like some of the boxes have like pictures of dice on it. So I think you may have bought a bunch of gambling equipment or games. Yes, you can't oh. say gambling. What if we bought a casino? He's an owner operator, which means he owns this truck and trailer and he just leases on with the shipping company. This is his only trailer. So it's been down for four months. He hasn't been able to haul any freight like this for four months. Uh, he can do power only, which is just the tractor. And he can go hook up the trailers, but I guess uh, he's not finding much work for that right now. So he's pumped. It's pretty cool, actually. I honestly just seen the smile on his face. I really don't care what this load is worth because like, dude, this guy's got like a wife and kids and he's just been stuck at home. So, and we got a bunch of board games, I think. I'm not gonna crack anything open yet until we get it fully unloaded, but it looks like a bunch of ga uh, games. This one says Disney's Tim Burton, The Nightmare Before Christmas game, I guess, maybe. I didn't know that was a game. Hopefully it's like a really popular one that people can't get because the freight got lost and now the value's through the roof. You are hopeful. Always am. Hey, this one's more obvious. I see a pallet full of Yahtzee. We are gonna be eBaying the sh out of Yahtzee here. That's a lot of Yahtzee. I'm actually kind of still pissed off about having to read USAopoly. If that's the name of the game and I got seven pallets of it, I'm gonna be pissed. I'm hoping that it's like just the name of the parent company and there's like Battleship inside. Dude, if I got a truck full of Battleship, I'm retiring today. I'm just <laughs> playing Battleship with my bros. What was wrong? <laughs> it was close. This was all headed to a distribution center. That's gonna be interesting for Dave to open. Oh, it doesn't want to go under.
I think these last boxes are dolls or something, or figurines. Or a game of some sort. Looks like there was two different loads in there. Stuff for a uh, um, conveyor belt system with nice motors and rollers and encoders and we're going a couple of microcontrollers and a mystery box that will be interesting to see in it. And then we have a whole bunch of uh, motors and encoders, rollers, uh, microcontrollers. All right. Uh, uh, tempted to start with the games, but we're gonna start with the less, the less exciting stuff first. This is some sort of packing, sorting, shipping equipment. I don't think we got the full set here. We got some really nice rollers. Multi-container pallet. That's what I don't want to hear right now. This stuff could be scattered. Upper transition belt rollers. Yeah, so it's some sort of industrial conveyor belt system. Now we got the mystery box. About. Come on, microcontrollers with I.O. ports. Ooh. Hey, we got we got somewhat of a complete roller system. We at least got the belt. Oh, Ooh, baby. Nice. Yeah, look at that, dude. Some sort of drive rollers for the belt system. Wow. This is this is probably where the money's at, hopefully. There's a <laughs> Alan's excited. He can't even get a full sentence out. Yeah, it's, it's if you knew what the price of this stuff, if you have to purchase it, oh, it's I'm astronomically sure. high. These are probably some sort of laser, so they determine whether a package is going down. Oh, there's oh. a motor. Nope, that's for the nuts and bolts to put it all together. Mm. But it, oh, it, no more rollers. Probably guess this one probably has the same. All right. This is good, I like this. Here we have, seems to be full. Get a Phillips. Get the Phillips. Yeah. Can you grab one? Alan is pumped. There's a Phillips. Be in here. I'm just gonna need you to pop that one open real fast. <laughs> We're not jumping ahead to the games yet. <laughs> Too late, man. This one just seems to be the, uh, con uh, yeah, the circuit breaker relay contactor circuit breaker relay contactor um i don't see any. no do not open that it's different conjunction junction oh, wait, what's your major malfunction it's orange guys they're encoders so what it does is it sends a signal as it's rolling to the computer so the computer knows what speed it is turning hmm. those are really nice encoders this box is good i don't know what it is but it's good it's all brand new honeywell stuff now we go over to no we're not going to that end yet all right well we got this hold on what's there might be enough pieces here for like a full conveyor line maybe well um, we're missing like the main computer these are it's all no, just uh oh well, those were brackets seems like the main valuable stuff is in that box and then these actual Belt rollers over here. And so here's a here's your laser system. Yeah, finding a buyer for this is going to be the uh, the tricky part. Well, how how are we looking? That box had a bunch of cool stuff in it. it had all the conveyor belts in it. Temperature. Ton of the rollers. Rollers paying, paying bills, Dave. We you haven't got the games yet? No, we're taking pacing ourselves, bro. This is almost like tabletop parts. Just as I expected. We need to call. Blink this out. See if they're still in business. Oh. Need to look in this. Found sounds like a feels like a chunk of motor. Rollers. We got a bunch of really nice Honeywell conveyor belt uh, 
system components. Don't know what they're for or what they're worth or if it's a custom build, but there's some value here. We're gonna try to figure out what that is. Now we're gonna move on to the second half of the load, which was the USA Opoly boxes. Probably the least enjoyable thing I've ever had to say. USA Opoly. I didn't know how to pronounce it, so I never said it on camera. Yeah. The yeah. French? So they're definitely board games. Wow. Clue, the mystery, the classic, <laughs> it's all Christmas games. Get a clue. There's something with like Naruto. Did you guys know Alan was into Japanese yeah. anime? Naruto. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. USA Opoly Clue, How the Grinch Stole Christmas. $40 on Amazon. Really? Per game. And there's only one seller. About 40 boxes of four, four times four, we got 160 Grinch board games, which are selling on Amazon right now. 40 boxes? That's 160 boxes that's total. A, that's what I said. You said for 40 bucks on Amazon? Yeah, and there's only one seller. That's $6,400 worth of the board games right there. With just the clue? Just the Grinch stealing Christmas clue. Next box from another pallet, Naruto Ramen Yahtzee. When are you gonna open the Harry Potter one? <laughs> you didn't do that likes, last Nobody time. likes Harry Potter. Uh -oh. You're about to get your no. first hate comment. <laughs> this is a Japanese version, Yachty. like an anime version of, whoa. Whoa. Balance pumped. All right, let's see, Alan's hold on. Pumped. <laughs> but I ha I've only watched it like a couple episodes and it was a, like 10 years ago. Right. Naruto Yahtzee is selling for $21.59 per box on Amazon. Math, math, math. 430 Naruto games times by 20 bucks a pop. $8,600 worth of Yahtzee. So we're at 6,400 for the uh, Grinch game. So far we're at $15,000. South Park puzzles. Oh, they really are Here's South Park guys, puzzles I'm too. Going home. Can't how many boxes are there? Okay. $20 on Amazon and they're selling. Pretty well. There's 80 boxes yeah, times by box. 480 times by 20. Another $9,600 in South Park puzzles. So that puts it like 25 grand. What do we got? What do we got? The Nightmare Report for 60 boxes. Come on. $25 a pop, five stars. 25, another $9,000. 60 boxes of how many? Whoa, friends! Whoa, no way. 60 boxes of the most overrated TV show ever. Oh, it's Friends Clue. 240. 240 of those? Yeah. Wasn't that the one where they always say Norm? No, that's uh, Seinfeld. Seinfeld. 40 bucks a pop. How many? There's 360? 240. There's four in each box. That's a big one. That's $9,600 worth of Friends Clue. Yes, now the Harry Potter one! Yep. Does it have a disc in there too, or just... Is it a hard game only? Harry Potter. Oh, it's just another nine grand. I've never even seen any of these games. Well, how much do you think of just game alone? Didn't he just say it, 45? No, that's my guess. Tell me. Comes out to whopping $52,000. $52,000. We are in the money. We're in the green. It's black. It's the opposite in uh, China. Super really? Nice. Yes. Red, means Red is up, <laughs> green is down. This is a good one. This was the real legit deal. Like he reached out, this was not expected, this was not anticipated. When I offered him six grand for the load, he's like, I'll be there tomorrow. Like that was a big deal for him, obviously because his truck was tied up. So this is a win, win, win for everybody except for the, the shady distribution center that went out of business and screwed all the truckers. To sell it real quick, everything, 35 grand, but probably more. Selling things. You want to show me the old Sisunasu? Oh, that's actually a good point. This right here, ladies and gentlemen, is uh, one of the Sisunasus that I imported from Finland a few years ago. It's for sale. So if anybody's looking for a Sisunasu, this thing is sweet. We painted it, went through it, put lights on it, did a bunch of modifications to it. She is dialed in and ready to go. It's got better seating in it. Um, than original. It's got the Land Rover engine, so it runs great. Tracks, everything are great. This is a solid, solid machine, like one of the better machines that we actually had. Anyways, drop me an email. 
Uh, it's in the description below, but info at heavydsparks.com if you're interested. We will send you more uh, details on it, and if you guys don't buy it, then it's just gonna be a backup recovery vehicle, but it really is, this is a clean unit. You know, like the first time I met you was, hey, we're gonna go for rides with Dave Sparks. And I was like, I know of Dave Sparks. And it was in one of these, and we went down the river. Yep. We literally, just jumped in we're at an event, and you're just driving, 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 river. These things are sweet. If you need something that'll go anywhere, do anything, it's awesome for like private use, for to get to your cabin, but also like industrial use. If you work in the oil field or out in an area where you need to get to no matter what, that's your guy. So shoot me an email. We just bought a semi-truck full of miscellaneous stuff. The reason why we do this is because A, it's fun, B, you can make money, and C, we love showing how you can make money doing a side hustle. I rolled the dice, paying $6,000 for that, but my, my logic was $6,000 for 25,000 pounds of freight that was shipped in a dry van, which means it obviously needed to be somewhat taken care of. And then the fact that that trucker had been out of business for four months because his truck was full, figured it was a win-win, but I think we really won on this deal. And this is no exaggeration, like legitimately pulling up values of what's selling online right now. We have $52,000 worth of board games, plus all that Honeywell conveyor belt equipment, which I, I'm guessing is another 50,000, maybe more. Quick, fast sale to get this stuff gone, 30, 40 grand. Uh, probably get it gone tomorrow. In fact, we're making some calls now. Paid 6,000 for it. Trucker's happy, he's on the road. He actually just left here to pick up another load and go straight back to work. So we just made like 30, let's, let's call it like 30 grand on the low end. Before I sell it to anybody else, if any of you viewers want to make some money, I will leave some meat on the bone and I'll sell you this whole load for, no, make me an offer. I'll sell it cheap because I want to be able to pass this deal along and help somebody else make some money if you're in this market. The conveyor belt equipment, the games, whatever. Shoot us an offer, maybe we'll sell it to you and you can make some money. Shoot me an email, info at heavydsparks.com and uh, also if anybody is in the market for the Friends Clue Mystery Game or any of the other games, Maybe we'll sell you one. Now, we gotta get ready for something big that we're doing tomorrow, which is another purchase I made, which is gonna be one of the more difficult logistically like challenges that we've encountered this year because we gotta go figure out how to get a cell phone antenna tower plus a building plus a bunch of other stuff off of a very, very, very snowy drifted uh, mountaintop that is currently getting dumped on with another blizzard. So buckle up because the next video is gonna be exciting.